Hey folks, so we noticed that users have been digging our data sources and table views but are perhaps a little bit confused about how to create a drill down style application. Uh, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an application that uses an RSS feed and enables us to get further detail from a table view when we actually select an item. So let's get started now by adding an RSS feed from VentureBeat. Uh, so I've got the URL here. I simply go back to my data sources repository, add our RSS feed. Venture Beat RSS. And that's that out of there. Right, so we want to give ourselves a little bit of a visual identity to get started with. So I'll simply open the media repository and drag in this little logo of the Venture Beat logo. <clears throat> Make that a little bit bigger. There we go. That'll do. And next up, we want to add a table view. We drop that in, bring it to size. Good. Now we want to associate our RSS data with it. I go back to our data repository, get our title, drag that in. Now you can see that we're at the moment we're organised alphabetically. Um, for an RSS feed, this doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Uh, because you want to see things in the order that they appear date-wise. So we'll take off that group alphabetically option. Let's turn that off. And there's our basic main screen. Now obviously when we select an item in this table view, <clears throat> we're going to want to find out a little bit more detail about it. So that's what we'll do now. Uh, so we'll create a new view. There we go. We'll give it a navigation bar and a back button. And we'll call that use detail <clears throat> and we might just call that view name um, use detail as well okay now obviously what we want to do is add some placeholders uh, for the title the description and the date so let's do that now <clears throat> I'll just drop a label in here this can be my title placeholder I'll make that one quite a big one I think I'll give that a font size of about 20 or so. And I'll say title placeholder. You can see that's updated there. I'll do the same for description. Drop that straight in there. Make it the full size of the screen. We want, to be, want users to be able to scroll the content. Maybe make the font a little bit bigger, maybe a 10. And let's change that font to something like American Typewriter. Easy. Now how do we link that to what we just selected on the table view? Well let's get started by wiring it up so that when we select something on the table view we show that detail view. So we go to our table view, just there, and we go to our actions, you can see that there's an action called touch down. Now obviously we want to ring that, rig that up to the news detail so that it loads the view. Make that slide left would be the most logical thing to do. Right, <clears throat> now the table view has a selected item which you can see down in Project Explorer here. And that's basically the row of information that you've selected in the table uh, from the data source. So you can see that I've got exactly the same columns as what I would have had in my data source here. You can see that I've got title, description, link and pub date. And likewise you can see on the selected item I've got title, description, link and pub date. So. <clears throat> We've loaded the view and we want to set the title of the news item. So let's drag down to our news detail, drag to our title placeholder, and we want to set the text to our selected item's title. Done. Want to do the same thing with description? Simply drag down to our description label, set our text to Our description and it's as easy as that folks uh, that's how you do a drill down style application let's give you a bit of a preview of that now <clears throat> 